August 10th, 1977. The Skylab space station is sitting on the pad preparing for liftoff. The launch umbilical tower arms retract and the vehicle lifts off from the pad. Hey everyone, Astronaut 98 here. We're returning back to our roots and going back to For All Mankind videos. In For All Mankind's timeline, Skylab was actually stopped and converted into Jamestown. So the Skylab we see in the show in the second season is actually Skylab's backup which would have been produced much later and is actually probably the backup that is sitting at the Smithsonian at the moment. Shortly after liftoff, the first stage burnt out and the second stage separated with a loud whoosh of the separation motors, leading to the Ullish motors firing for the second stage ignition. Roughly a few minutes into the flight later, the payload fairings deploy, resulting in part of the micrometeoroid shield getting jammed but the ground controllers didn't notice. After orbital insertion, the second stage is separated and then deorbited to prevent debris from becoming an issue. Upon deployment, however, the micrometeoroid shield issue became more noticeable. It had caused a wire to get snagged, causing the reaction control motors to cause the station to tumble out of control. It was later rectified upon realizing that they decided to rewind and spring it out again. On December 20th, 1980, Skylab 10, or Apollo 33 as it was known internally, lifted off from the pad. And shortly thereafter, the second stage separated, pushing the Apollo spacecraft into orbit. Upon shutdown of the upper stage engine, the Skylab crew spent a whole day in orbit prepping their rendezvous with Skylab. Approaching Skylab, they got ready to dock, do experiments, and refit the vehicle for its upcoming orbital boost and subsequent space shuttle modifications. As shown here, these modifications weren't too extensive, just tying down of objects so that way they don't get blasted by the RCS of the space shuttle. Upon the mission's end, the crew would separate from Skylab and prepare to head home. Originally aiming off the coast of Kerbida, they actually ended up landing in the highlands of Kermany, believe it or not. End up landing, they decided that they would cancel the entire Apollo program due to issues with landing in the right spot. More likely this issue could have been easily fixed by a little better pre-planning, but you know how Kerbals are. They don't like to take orders from anyone. They want to do things off the cuff, land wherever they can as evidenced by the landing in the hills of Kermany. This mission, having lasted a total of 186 days, landed safely. On April 17, 1981, Skylab 11 lifts off from launch pad 39C. Yes, this was the first space shuttle launch to Skylab. The station having been previously boosted by its former crew to a higher orbit to prevent its solar decay. It was actually a re relatively standard shuttle mission, other than the massive dogleg maneuver required to get the Skylab's inclination of 45 degrees, unlike the 28 degree launches used to head towards the moon. Upon getting into orbit, the payload bay doors were opened, revealing the brand new Space Shuttle Docking Adapter Module. Made out of a refitted 
command and service module, it saved both money and made it the second multi-module space station in, in space, just edging out Mir by a few months. And upon approaching Skylab, they braked to a perfect rendezvous right next to it. The module was then deployed and subsequently docked to the Skylab space station, allowing crews to be transferred through the module and to pr provide propulsion for the station, considering that was something that was significantly lacking due to it intending to be a one-use station originally. Upon the subsequent docking of the space shuttle UKK Contiki, it was decided that the Skylab program would continue for years to come. Maybe well into the 90s and possibly beyond. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I release a new video every week for your viewing pleasure. I am the astronaut. Let's fly.